dude. Thank you for doing this, man. Absolutely, man. It's gonna be fun. I know, dude. You ready? This is. This doesn't look like it, but this is a time capsule. I haven't looked in the, at these forever. I'm guessing you probably haven't either. So yeah. So I wanted to like just go through them and just like yeah. reminisce. And as we're um, celebrating 10 year anniversary of 23 Places, um, we're gonna release it on vinyl. And I wanted. Oh, wow. I just kind of wanted cool. to like. I thought you and I should pick out um, new photos for the for the vinyl package, you know? Because I, I mean, these these will, will be blown up really big, and I just think it'd be really cool. Yep. So let's just dig in. Okay. And this is when I literally didn't know how to take pictures. I was clueless. I had Darcy, I think, uh, working the camera, dialing in all the shutter speeds and settings, because I literally didn't know how to use the camera. Nowadays, I appreciate this shoot so much because this was literally an hour-long shoot, pretty much. Yeah, because um, we were racing against the sun. I remember that. Yeah, that's beautiful. I remember that one just being... Bro, so artsy. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember from this shoot being like, there were so many pictures where my face wasn't in it, and I was like, Carol, what's, I mean, what are you trying to tell me? Yeah, what's the deal? It's amazing how these really do look like, you know, modern day iPhone apps. You know? I know. You remember that one made? That one was in the artwork. It's so artsy. I remember not really knowing, even a few days before the shoot, what we were gonna do. Yeah. And I remember going to a thrift store and finding the suitcase and the headphones. I remember seeing this Lincoln Continental, and then the, the owner of the car. His in-laws had land. land. Yeah. And so he even like had it parked out for us and everything. It was just... Yeah, everything we try to do so hard now to pull streets together, it all just kind of happened in no time for this year. It's just crazy that we did all this in an hour and a half. And I mean, I still to this day when I teach, I tell people that, you know, this was one of my favorite shoots ever because it was just pure photography, you know, in the simplest form, an hour long shoot, a few rolls of film. That's cool. There was something about when you, when we took the inside of the, the colors were just so rich. I love some of these black and white ones. It'd be it'd be fun to to use some of those. Maybe Darcy show us some of these. Darcy was a, a girl in college. She was just a she was actually studying photography and I was a wannabe. And so I didn't know what I was doing and I thought she was so awesome because she actually knew how to work the camera. Right. You know, she was such a, a big part in me learning. Um, so I was clueless and very intimidated by the whole process. So when did that change for you? Was it just was it just doing just it? Kept doing it. Yeah, it's just learn more on every shoot. Thanks to you guys, just ask me. All my friends would just let me shoot their records. It was awesome. How did it change? I mean, because at that time the digital technology wasn't mm -hmm. wasn't where it is now. Obviously, I mean, that was right. like ten years ago. So, what were you shooting on then? Right after that, I bought that three megapixel G1. <laughs> the Canon G1. Yeah, the Canon G1. And would you use that for like? Yeah. For like, I shot a few albums with that camera. That's awesome. So I went from medium format, which is amazing quality to this day, backwards down to this little right. three megapixel Canon. Um, but yeah, I shot a few. I mean, the iPhone now is eight megapixels, and I was shooting, you know, legit shoots a three megapixel camera. So yeah, right after this kind of started the whole digital photography journey. It's crazy. You were doing a lot in post even with mm -hmm. this shoot. Yeah. Scanning in the, the you know, these prints. Post has always kind of been something that you've been like, you, you kind of dug in creatively with your post work. Mm -hmm. um, there wasn't too much on these. I just overlaid this yellow color to make them a little more, you know, vintage and stained, if you will, and it really did help because it gave everything a very sunsetty yellow glow that just really kind of was icing on the cake for sure. Yeah, I, I agree. And then I remember the font that you found, because you did all the design work too, mm -hmm. which at that time you were like doing everything. <laughs> And yeah. you found that font, it was like super... I think I was doing your wardrobe and hair yeah, makeup. Yeah, 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 yeah. yes. Yeah. You, you were cleaning my house. <laughs> <laughs> that is a cool, that's a cool shot. That needs to mm -hmm. be doing something. Because I want to do, I want to do the vinyl where like, you know, you open it up and so there's like a huge... Yeah, huge spread. One huge image, you know? I'll put a bunch in this bottle of thought. With some black and whites, like you said, um, it'd be kind of neat to have that that image that that's, 
that image be one that was br that's brand new, that people haven't seen yet. Um, I feel like these are really different spin on that shoe. I mean, they wouldn't make a wow factor when you open it up, but they're still just mm -hmm. super different. That's a whole different perspective from everything else on that. Absolutely. I mean, talking black and white. <laughs> this is man. I mean, what is the deal? That was Barnes's hat. Look at the, look at the mouth there. God, I mean, this is cool. I like, I like a lot of the details. I feel like every favorites. photo it's shoot that I. They say all the ones that don't have you in them are my favorites. Yeah, or my face. <laughs> as long as my face isn't in a U icon, <laughs> which makes me the perfect subject. Dude, I think you use that for the CD, the actual right. CD label. Yeah. yeah. Keep that. In. I think. Yeah, some good ones going there. Yep. This would be a fun one. I mean, that that could be a fun one to have in the middle. I mean, that's really interesting too. But. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got our um, work cut out for us. Yeah. Um, but it's exciting though. Dude, thank you again. Of for course. This. I mean, it's it's so fun to be able to like. To have this stuff live yeah. forever. I mean, it, it'll outlive us, which is great. And I, I love being able to go back in. Yeah, I've always kind of considered this like one of my first like real legit shoots. I've never forgotten. Killed it an hour or two, nice and simple. We did the field guitar vintage suitcase before that ever. You yeah. Know, there were so many special things about this shoot. Brother. All right, man. Thank you, man. Absolutely. Yeah, honored.